to work. I hope that throughout the time of brief exhortation that you would receive something and that what you would receive would really strengthen you and really speak to your situation and that you would get up and you would take up your mat and take up your bed and you would walk in that authority that God has given to you as a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to start out with a scripture that we are well familiar with. St. John chapter 1 verse 12. And it says, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Just going to repeat it again. Love the word. So I'm going to repeat it again. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. And even to them that believe on his name. So you can just insert yourself in the scripture. And if you have received him, and I believe you have, then he gives you power power to become a son of God. Don't worry about the son. Yes, we're not transgenderizing anybody this morning. God sees us as sons, sons, heirs. That's what it means. So even if you are a female, you're a female son. Yes. And even to them that believe on his name. And I'm talking to those who believe on his name. I want to activate you this morning to understand your authority. Another scripture I want to share with you, St. John 8, 31 to 32, and you can note these and go back in your own time of reflection and meditation and bring those scriptures up and just feed on them and chew on them. Yes, St. John 8, 31 to 32, it says, so Jesus was saying to the Jews who had believed on him, if you abide in my word, which means to continually obey his teachings and living in accordance with them. Then you are truly my disciples. Verse 32, and you will know the truth, the truth regarding salvation. And remember, salvation is an entire package. It's deliverance. It's healing. It's prosperity. Yes, it's all of that. It's soundness of mind. It's peace of mind. And the truth will set you free. You're going to know the truth. And the truth, that truth that you know, will set you free. Yes? From the penalty of sin. That's coming from the Amplified Version. And St. John 15, 7, it says, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you. Yes? If you remain in me and my words remain in you, that is you constantly, you know, walk in alignment with the word of God and that remains in you and that, that, that message lives in your heart, that that message is ignited by the Holy Spirit who lives inside of you then ask whatever you wish and it shall be done for you. Second Peter 1, 3, and I'm giving some scriptures this morning because scriptures support our prayers. We're not going to the Lord and making a bag of noise and bang, 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 bang. Hallelujah. Scriptures, scriptures, we must know our authority. And that's the first one-on-one, our first foundation in us understanding our authority. It says, according as his divine power has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. Amen. And I'm coming up with you for a while. So I'm reading some more scriptures. Matthew 28 verse 18. All authority has been given to me in heaven and 
and on earth. And that was Jesus speaking. And then he was talking to his disciples. So by extension, he has given us that authority to go forth. So he has, he has all authority and he has given it by extension to his body, to his children, to his sons and his daughters, to his disciples, all authority, leaving out none, all authority. Okay. Matthew 10, 1, before that, he, when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power. And that power there is defined from the Greek word as the exousia, the kind that the policeman has. That because you see the red seam, right? I don't think they have blue seam anymore. But the red seam, you know that he's a police and he has said stuff. And the power and the authority that is behind mm -hmm. his uniform, yes? yes. It's a different color. Oh, if it yes. were somebody yeah. dressed up in white, no. you would not see that person by that authority. But you know the uniform that is Jamaica Constabulary Force. So you don't mess with that if you have a sound mind, yes? And when you see the hand go up, then you stop. So I recently did that at the stoplight just in front of Ministry of Justice, and I made sure I stopped because I see that that's a police. But unfortunately, a vehicle behind me, a truck, a JPS truck, did not so much acknowledge that and ran into my back. Yeah, so some persons don't understand authority and how to treat with it. He says he had given them power over unclean spirits to cast them out. We have power. We have power. We have authority not to have peaceful coexistence with demons and devils and unclean spirits or to cast them out and to also take dominion over sickness and infirmity that we are seeing manifested in our bodies and in, in, in others, in our loved ones, in our family members. We have the power to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease. We're talking about understanding our authority and I want us sisters to come up into that place Hallelujah. where we stop the complaining and we stop the murmuring because these things undermine our authority. When we use our mouth gate, when we use it to speak negative and come into agreement with the enemy, then we give up our authority. We don't want to give up our authority. We want to maintain and to understand that our words have power. So we pray more than we talk. And all of us need to come into that discipline because at times, you know, we forget. You know, yesterday I was on the road and it's like, you know, there was some bad driving and, you know, I was forgetting. Yeah, that my prayer partner was there with me and, you know, she just kept coaching me through it. So we all go through at times where we forget and we have to be brought back in line so that we don't give up our authority. And it's something I had to learn over the years. And as sisters who want to, to have power with God at all times, when we go to pray, when we go to seek the face of Almighty God, knowing that this God that we are serving, he comes through and he's a God that will never fail. And as the song says, things change when his authority is manifested. We want to always be at the place and be in the position as sons of God. Luke 9.1, continuing the scripture, boot camp this morning. He called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. Power, power. In this verse, it was more talking about the dunamis 
power, the Greek word for miraculous power, strength, explosiveness, a violence, and a mighty work. So this is somewhat different from the exousia. But you need, you need, I believe, the exousia to understand the exousia before the dunamis can be manifested, that miraculous power, that explosive power, hallelujah, to cure diseases, yes? So, so God is speaking to us this morning. The word authority in Greek, exousia again, it's talking about a privilege that you and I have, a privilege. Think of the word in the English language, that we have grown and come to understand privilege. When it says your privilege, somebody can go behind closed doors and talk to someone because they have privilege. But if somebody else doesn't have it, then you know, then there, there, there will be there will be outside um, constantly knocking. But when you have privilege, you can knock and enter. Maybe you can't, you're not even having knock sometimes. Yes? You have competency, you have freedom or mastery. It's a superhuman control. It's a delegated influence. It's something that God gives to us. Yes? Authority. We're talking about understanding our authority and we lose many battles because we don't understand our authority in Christ yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Moving on, John 15, verse 15. It says, no longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But when you have authority, my, my sisters, he calls us friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. That is a part of our authority, our privilege our privilege, our favor. When we have authority, we are called into secrets. We are told things by God. God reveals certain things to us that human lips will not tell us. Human lips will not share with us that people don't know. We have the inside information. We have the things that you know, it's behind a 10 foot wall and we know about it because God wants us to know about it and he has given us that authority. We can know what is happening in high places because we have the authority to know. And so God will reveal to us. He will share with us those secrets. Yes. When we also understand our authority there is a different thing the the, the, the barriers the walls the, the the distance between us and god is removed <laughs> exodus 33 11 the lord spoke to moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend god will come and just talk with you and people don't understand when you say you know the lord said this to me and the lord and they're not understanding that relationship so understanding our authority has to do with our positional, that place that we are as sons, as daughters of the Most High God. He will speak to us as, as a friend to friend. When we approach the Lord as a friend, we are in that place of intercession. So consider the authority in the account of the centurion in Luke 7 verse 8 when he needed healing for his servant he was a man under authority and he understood authority and he exercised that authority look at the account later but because he was under authority he understood the power and what authority could do, the doors it could open, and he also exercised oh. that authority. So to understand authority is to walk in power, oh. to walk in power. We need power 
over sickness. We need power over oh, disease. We need power over poverty. We need power over rejection. We don't want rejection to tie us down and hold us back and, and undermine our relationships. We need power. When we understand authority, we walk in power. And we can only exercise authority if we submit to God-given authority, yes. which brings me to the point. We are sisters. We are believers in Christ. That means we are in a context. We are in a church. We are in a family of God. And so in that family of God, there are different levels and there are ranks and there are different uh, 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 persons and offices that we have to submit to perhaps. And maybe we are at a higher office. We are at one of those places that persons, uh, you know, have to submit to us. But usually as sisters, we have to submit to God-given authority. Whether it be the, the husband, if we are married, because not everybody is married. Let's not talk that way. But, but if it's the husband, yes. yes. Or if we're a younger person, perhaps the father figure, but if we're over 18, then we're really adult, mm -hmm. yes? And so we can discuss that at another time. But there are authority figures, pastors, who, if, if it's male or female, it's the office that you're submitting to. And so in order to walk in power, you will have to always know that you must submit to God-given authority. I just felt like I had to say that and put that in there. You can win no battle if at, if at times you're walking around and you're saying, I don't want to hear you. I don't need to talk. I don't need to listen to you. I don't need to pass that thing to you, even though that person is at a higher rank over you. Yes? So the believer who is fully conscious of divine power behind him as a result of the sonship and that relationship that we have with God positionally, right? You, 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 you can face the enemy without fear or hesitation. Let me say that again. You can face the enemy without fear or hesitation. You can face the enemy without fear or hesitation. Second Timothy 1 verse 7, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. Fear is not a friend. You want to walk in power and authority and don't allow fear to rule your emotions or to oppress you when it's time to make a decision when it's time to move ahead, when it's time to pray. Don't allow fear to oppress your minds. Yes? We're talking about understanding authority. Amen. And then I want to go on to Ephesians 6, 12. Get the scriptures, sisters. Get the wow. scriptures, warriors. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, Amen. but against principalities. Yes? Talking about that word, arcas, the first our preeminent ones against powers. Talking about authorities, exousias. Yes, that's a Greek word for it. And against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, powers of witchcraft, powers, powers, powers of crime and violence, powers in high places. That's what we're wrestling against. And we must understand our authority before we go to wrestle against them. We must understand that God has given us power over them. God has given us that power and authority positionally. We are, we are seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. We must recognize that authority that we function from. We are not, my, my sisters, we are not in any way below them. We are above them. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are the lenders and not the borrowers. We can subdue powers because of the authority that Christ has died to give to us. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This deserves a praise break. This deserves a praise break. Come on, my sisters. Give God a praise. Because we have power over principalities of powers, rulers of the darkness, stage, whatever it is, whatever power we come into. We have power. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We praise your holy name. Hallelujah. When I get back Glory. to my screen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Question 4-4, four, four, it says, you're of God, little children, and I've overcome them yes. because greater, my God, somebody said, we don't greater. unmute your mic. Just say it right now. Greater, greater, greater is he greater. that is in you than he that is in the world. Come on, there's power. Greater. There is authority greater. that is released in your space when you speak the word. Greater, greater is he greater. that is in you than he that is in the world. Oh, the provocative that we have in God, sister, is greater than in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. And then quickly, the account of the, 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 the woman seeking justice from the unjust judge, Luke 18, verses 1 to 8. We don't have time to read it. But there was a widow in the city, and she said, get justice from me, from my adversary, from my enemy, from my enemy, from my opponent. My opponent arrived me. I mean, need justice. You know, in Jamaica, we always say, we want justice. She was crying out for justice. Yeah. This was real for her. And he, the, uh, the, 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 the judge would not, would not listen to her because it said he oh, did not fear God, God nor have any respect for man. Mm. But after a while, he said to himself, do all men of fear God, nor man. Lord. To keep on a come back again. Mm -hmm. And because of that, she will mm. wear me down. I will avenge her. Mm. I will avenge her. Because she the Lord. constant coming where she go come, I go wear me down. Listen, God was teaching us about mm. the power of intercession that we must have in this time. Hallelujah. That we must constantly Hallelujah. go to God who is not an unjust judge. Yes. He's not unjust. He's a just God. Not God of faithfulness. Hallelujah. Good and upright is he. So when we go to this God, he shall hear us. Verse 7 says, shall God not avenge his own elect? What are you going wow. through right now? Wow. You have on the prayer right now. What do you have on the altar right now that you need God to move on? He says, cry out day and night to him, and he will hear. Yes. He will avenge you speedily. That's the authority you have. That's the authority. Yes, he was teaching us today, 21st century believers, that have modern creature comforts around us and at our fingertips. He was teaching us how to prevail in prayer, how to persevere in prayer, how to keep coming, how to keep coming, and keep coming. Ask, and we shall receive. Knock. Keep knocking, 
that says keep knocking, keep going. That's the authority we have. We don't feel we have no authority. I'm gonna ask one time. I'm just we not see no answer. We forget about it. I'm gonna knock one time. I'm gonna see no door open. I'm gonna just so 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 that not upon my side. Um, make me pray, but that never answer. And we hear people talk like that at times. But God is saying understand your authority in the earth understand your authority as an intercessor understand your authority you will prevail praise god we must be relentless and persistent in our prayers and cry out day and night yes don't stop crying yes Matthew 729 says he was Teaching them as one who had authority. Yes? He never come with female words. He never lay lay. He was coming oh, because he was sent by the Father. My Hallelujah. sisters, this morning, we have Thank a mandate you. to rise Hallelujah. up in the earth, to arise, yes. to arise and to deliver mm. other women and even families from afflictions, rejections, yes. insecurities. Shame yeah. and emptiness mm -hmm. that was coined by Dr. Holt. Hallelujah. That's what we are going to war in this conference for the lives of our other sisters. And yeah. in effect, you are warring for families because all of those sisters represent families in one way, shape, form, or another. But we are going to war. We have the authority to loose. We have the authority to, to, to bind. We have the authority to pull people out of some situations. They don't have the power and the authority. They don't know that authority. But you know, God is saying, awake, arise, and come forth. Oh. Yes. The power of life and death power in the spoken words. Proverbs 18, 21. Yeah. Yeah. Death and life yeah. are in the yeah. flow of the tongue. And those yeah. who love it <laughs> and indulge it in it will eat its fruit. Will eat its fruit. So can you imagine, intercessor, when you bring the word of God? When you bring the word of God, yeah. you have authority. Yeah. You cause the enemy to back yeah. up and yeah. see. From your situation and from other situations because intercessors don't just pray and mainly pray um, for their situation. They're praying mainly for others. They're praying for others. They're praying for other families, other wives, other children, other communities, other situations. That's the, 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 the task and function of an intercessor that truly wants to have power with God. We also have to understand our authority, my sisters, to activate miracles. A miracle is something you can't do for yourself. Oh, yeah. You might have the money, but you can't buy your health. Let me say it again. Yes. You might even have the money, but you can't buy your healing. You can't buy your health. A miracle is something you cannot do for yourself. It's something only God can. Even the richest man, the richest amen, woman amen, in the amen, earth amen. can't God. do that for you. To activate miracles, signs, and wonders in the earth, you've got to understand your authority. And by extension, when you understand your authority, Miracles, signs, and wonders will be activated. This is not wishful thinking. I've seen this happen. I've seen moves of God happen when we understand our authority. Mr. Demon, I walk up and down in a place, and when somebody who understands their authority rises up, change their position, and say, no, take this no more. So that's what arise me. <laughs> a change of position. Maybe you're in a, a spirit of slumber or sleep or coma. You need to get up and change of position and understand your authority in Christ. 
Matthew 8, 16. It says, when evening came, they brought to him many who were under the power of demons. And he cast out the evil spirits with a word and restored to health all who were sick. He exhibits that authority as Messiah. Hallelujah. And God calls us as we go to this clarion call, as we answer this clarion call of understanding our authority, when we understand our authority, we will have the power over demons. Hallelujah. Many are sick. Many are bold. Many, many are perplexed. Many are rejected. Many don't know what to do. Many are on the verge of committing suicide. Many are ashamed and can't lift up their head off of the ground. Somebody abused them. Somebody hurt them. Somebody took something away from them and violated them even from an early age. We have been called. We must answer that call to our lives and go forth in our authority. The captain, and my sisters, his word, 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 his can speak his word, we can believe and not doubt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must prevail. Hallelujah. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of the living God. And God is charging us even as we are understanding our authority, the authority that we have through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Through who we are positionally, relationally, we are children of the Most High God. We are daughters of Almighty God. God is calling us to arise. And God is calling us to go forth to answer that urgent call, that clarion call. God is calling us to rise up and daily leading up to the conference and beyond after. It's not just for the 14th, but also for after that we'll be living, breathing, hallelujah, walking, talking, ah. Uh, our houses uh, who understand uh, our authority. I want to wake up somebody. I want to wake up somebody. You're on the platform, but you're still not awake. Uh, I want to wake you up. Uh, I want to activate uh, your gift uh, and your calling. Uh, and I want you to understand that you have the authority to use, uh, for God to use you in that gift and to use that gift. Arise, hallelujah. I want to pray with you and I want to pray over you. I want to speak over you, hallelujah. Mighty God, Father in heaven. Father in heaven. Hey. Mighty God, Father, we pray, Lord God, for your stirring. We pray, God, God, for your moving. <laughs> we pray, God, for your sifting. We pray, mighty God, even for your surgery this morning on the platform. God, we repent of not, Lord God, trying to understand our authority that you have given unto us. My God, that is contained in the Holy Scriptures. My God. God, we have just been walking around, Lord God, blank, Lord God, ignorant, but God, we pray that you would have stirred us this morning, Lord, for such a time and season as this, God, Lord God, that there will be a stirring, God, in the realms of the spirit, in the respective spirit cases of each sister of each woman of god on the platform mighty god we pray even now that lord you will deepen the resolve of each woman of god to understand the authority lord god that you have given to your death burial and resurrection and lord even your ascension mighty god because you're 
seated at the right hand of the Father, and you ever live to make intercession for us, mighty God. Hallelujah. Lord God, understanding that we are the head, 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 no matter what it feels like, no matter what it looks like, Lord God, no matter that is on paper already. We're still the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. Lord God, you have given us so many things, so many clues, so many, Lord God, clear, Lord God, indication of, Lord God, who we are in God. Hallelujah. And God, greater, you have said greater in that is in us than he that is in the world. Lord, we carry the presence of the Most High God. We are a dynamis, oh God, power ready to break out, ready to explode. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we say, Stop. That's enough. We rebuke you to demons and devils and principalities and powers. Mighty God, Father, I'm stirring some warrior women. Lord God, I'm stirring. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Speak it. Ah, Hallelujah. Lord, Thank you, Jesus. Power. Oh, God, and fill with might by the Spirit of the Lord. Lord God, it's not by might nor by power, oh, but, but by, by your Spirit. spirit. God, moment. Lord God, it's not about money. It's not about status. It's not about who have an MRS degree. <laughs> Mighty God, it's not about the authority. That Lord God, we can appropriate because of who we are in Christ. Not the blood of Jesus Christ has touched us, has washed us. Lord God, we are in the new covenant because of what Christ has done. Father, we give you thanks. Open up your mics now, ladies. Open up your mics now and stir yourself in your authority. Stir yourself. Remember the greatest is in the world and the Hallelujah. 
I charge you to walk in your authority. To understand it first and then to walk in it. That really basis. So many things will come and try to steal and undermine our authority in Christ. Our own mouths. The enemy will collude to our feelings and our mouth. Our mouth here to say things to undermine our yeah. own authority. Mm -hmm. But when you understand how this authority that Christ has died for, he has shed his blood that we may have this authority. Mm -hmm. He said he had all authority and by extension, as we grow and mature in him, mm -hmm. we will come into that greater fullness oh, of understanding our mm -hmm. authority. Yes, this authority can mm -hmm. subdue kingdoms. This authority can unlock miracles, signs, and wonders. This authority can transform and change mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. for the glory of God. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. hallelujah, 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 I want to hear the woman of God's hand. Thank you, Abbas, thank you. I receive it today. Hallelujah, 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 Thank Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. 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 So we're asking for special prayer. I'm going to ask us all to open your microphones as we cover this woman of God. But I'm going to ask Jesus. Minister Vanessa to go ahead and lead the, the prayer. Jesus. And after she, she, and then she's going to also pray for the woman and release us. So she's going to pray for me, Pastor Mel, Melody. Hallelujah. And all of us are going to come in agreement with her as she prays. She just spoke about the accident. And we know other things are going to be coming at her. She's yeah. um, because this conference is really a warfare conference, and we're asking us to go to country to pray. If mm -hmm. we're able to, we are going to fast it for 10 days on Sunday, October, November 13th to the 22nd. If you can choose any day, if you want to be part of the fasting, you can reach out to me to let me know that you are actually fasting so we can all come in agreement. Mm -hmm. We love to, as many people to pray as possible because that is how we overcome by through the through praying and our testimonies and pushing back against the forces of darkness. So I'm gonna ask yes. just to open your microphones as Minister Vanessa pray for Pastor Melody and as we and then pray for um the women and release us. Minister Vanessa. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Minister Vanessa, I'm not hearing her. So I'm going to ask instead, I'm going to ask um, 
Pastor Paulette, if you can just go ahead and pray for the woman, pray for Pastor Melody. Bless the Lord. Morning again, woman of God. Morning. Mel releasing that story word and reminding us that power to with God and that we have to take walking with power and authority as we feast. Word as we stand on his word as we believe in his word. We bless God for you, woman of God. Father in heaven. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for such a time as this. Yes, we thank Jesus. you, Lord, for this appointment with you. Yes, this Lord. Lord. We thank you for this time of sacrifice that your woman servant has made. Hallelujah. Meet mm. with you, Lord and with your <clears throat> presence. And mighty God, to remind us of our power and our authority and understanding the power and authority that we have in you. Father, we undergird her with her prayers. Yes, yes, Father, yes, Father. Protection round about her yes. right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for her. We yes. thank you for her life, that her life is a living thing. Money unto you, her life is for your glory, mighty God. Lord, we cover her from the crown of her head. Yes, Father. Her feet in the name of Jesus. That no weapon formed against her shall be able to prosper. Risen against you, stand condemned. Oh, this name the mighty name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Position your woman servant, yes. indeed, for such a time as this uh, to contend with the enemy in the gate. In the name of Jesus, to challenge. Mm -hmm. The powers of darkness uh, that have been changed uh, over the years. We thank you, Lord, uh, that you are raising <laughs> up uh, in the position yeah. the way, Lord God, to meet yes, the giants uh, in the mighty name of yeah. Jesus, uh, Lord, uh, by extending cover. Yes, yes, yes. Father. Yes. Wayne Palmer, Stephen, yes. and Isabella. Entire household in the yes, name of Jesus. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you that no weapon yes, against him shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Health, and we speak over her that she will yes. be good health. Yes, Father. Yes. Prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, her as she traveled to and fro from to the office to do ministry. Mighty God, even as she may travel at times, oh God, all over the island, we cover her. In the name of Jesus. God, at this season, the enemy will not be effective in trying to use devices to scare yes. or to frighten her. And so, so, our sharp, in, Abba, Abba, our sharp in the spirit, in your spirit. Understand, Lord, that you have not given her a spirit of fear, but you have given her a name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. We cover her hands, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And whatsoever she touches, Lord, shall prosper. And yes, she will on the sick in this season and see them recover in the name mm. of Jesus. Yes, Father. Oh God, to be positioned in spheres of influence. Here she will speak to those who do know you and oh God, they will she will release the, oh god the gospel to them in the name of jesus thank you lord. Jesus. thank you lord for favor for her favor with you god and favor Amen. in the name of jesus thank you, thank you father lord, yes, Jesus. Jesus. Upon us, 
will flow in the name of Jesus. Lord, we speak strength to her body. We speak strength. Yes. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Lord, for the entire household. We cover by the precious blood of Jesus. Yes, Abba. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just a portion of Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 17. Yes, yes, God, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we pray yes. with us for you that the truth in this season that the mm. Lord will restore and raise you up, oh God, into positions of influence. Yes, that you can the power and the understanding of Almighty God and Hallelujah. your God given authority, keeping you in mind in prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom yes. and mm. knowledge in him. And mm. that having the eyes of your heart full of light, you may have knowledge of what is the hope of his purpose and what is the wealth of his glory, of his heritage in the saints. Yes, and limited to his power to you who have faith as is seen in the working of the strength <clears throat> by which he made Christ mm. come back from the dead. Jesus. Take him a place you, at the right hand in heavenly places, far above yes, all principles. Yes. Hallelujah. And power yes, and Lord. is not only Jesus. in the present, but in that which is to come. The yes. Lord and keep you. Lord, make his face to shine upon you. Lord, 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 turns towards you and bless you with his peace. The peace of God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, in understanding our authority yes. and in using the scriptures to walk in the authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless you and we continue to remember conference in January 14, 2023 as the Church of the Open Bible Strickland Park. I'm going to invite you to, to just come out, support the conference. It is free. The conference oh, is free. You just need mm. to register. We need registration so we can know who we persons who are coming and so that we can plan for lunch. The lunch is one thousand dollars per participant and you have to register to in order so we can um, plan for lunch. Mm -hmm. We encourage you to begin to share mm. your number. Your, if you like to from the conference, if you're coming from overseas, book your ticket, book your vacation, and let us come and just as the army of God, God's mm. great army of women. Amen. As we come and take our stand, we are coming in the power and in the and the might of our Father who is in heaven. And he's going to do Hallelujah. a miraculous work Amen. in our lives on that day. Amen. So invite a sister, invite a, a sister, invite your neighbor, invite as many women as you can. So as we come, we come with as a army of women to stand yeah. up and to be empowered for God's glory.
Amen. 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 Those of us who are overseas, come on. Book your flight. Hallelujah. Come, come to Jamaica for Amen. conference. Amen. Those of us who are here, book Amen. your vacation or your day off so that we can be at conference. Bless you, bless Amen. you, bless you. Yes, bless you as you go. Yes, you bless us yes, to yes, And yes, if yes. you want to be part of the fasting that begins on Sunday the 13th, to the 22nd, just reach out to me we, so we can all partner and pray together for one for this mighty move of God. Bless you all. Bless you all. Bless you. Bless you. Just open your bless microphone you. Bless you. and bless you. Amen. Amen. Bless you too, Dr. Hope. Blessings everyone on the platform. Have a blessed day, everyone.